What's up, everybody? This is Apoc Lord, and we're going to be playing Agony. I have been waiting so long for this game, and I know a few of my viewers have been too. And we're just going to, we're not going to stall any longer. We're just going to jump right into this. New game. Uh, let's go normal. Uh oh. Oh. Let's do it. Ooh, this doesn't sound fun. And knowest not that thou art wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. The Fall. It's the last thing I remember. Memories tear apart my soul. Consumed by the endlessly burning fire. The body turns again into ashes. The overlaying tissue revealing ruined bones. I fall into the blackest place. Where light causes pain, and darkness brings solace. Into a place which deprives one of faith and erases memories. Which leads to madness and effaces the boundary between people and animals. Her shine shrouds other memories. She is the key to the gate of unending agony. She is the answer. The road that I must follow. The Red Goddess. Alright, give me a moment. I just gotta bring something up over here. Okay. Is this bone? This is bone and skin. Awesome. <clears throat> Hold shift to sprint. Sprinting will make you move faster, but you will consume stamina. <sighs> we don't have a HUD in this, so I don't get to know when I'm gonna run out of stamina. Oh boy. E to interact with objects. But there's a door. Why would why would we go through the hole in the floor when we could go through the door? Oh, that's how you open the door. Judgment Chamber. Press F to cast an astral link that can show you a path to your next goal, but use it wisely. It has limited resources. Ew. It's squishing between my toes. an offering on the all right here we go put the heart there maybe all right so there's 
probably another one laying around. Uh, ah, over there. Ah, here we go. Preparations are going well. I got rid of the bodies of three innocents and used the fire which engulfed their corpses to prepare an altar. The stench of burnt meat torn from their deformed bones nearly knocked me out. I feel that there is no return now, but what would I return to? All that is left is to sacrifice their beating hearts. I held them in my hands while they were dying in agony, feeling how the life's va life vanished from them with every beat. The vital shall, the ritual shall be completed this night. So that was not a heart. Over here, maybe? What up, creepy door? Nothing? Alright, can't go this way. What's with the shimmy shimmer down at the top, bottom there? Hello? I found the heart. Put it back. Anybody out there? Okay. Well, aren't you pretty? Yes, I know something's missing there. I don't know what else I could offer. Oh, I can go down there. What is that? I don't like that. The soul mirror is a special artifact that will restore your soul inside itself. After a death, it can give you a part of its power to recreate your fragile body and refill your destiny lines. The soul mirror breaks after three uses, after which you need to reactivate it. Well, that was gruesome. Nope. No. I don't like it. <laughs> What's this? Nothing? Okay. Hey, little guy. How are you doing? Are you dying? Can I punch you? No? Okay. I'll just let me step all over you. I'm just gonna make my way downtown. Were you the one screaming? 
After today, what I am most afraid of in the depths of hell does not even know have a solid form. How else? How else can I explain a shadow that doesn't belong to any living thing? Even the red goddess doesn't seem to be aware, be aware of its presence. So who are they, and why do they constantly torment, torment us like nightmares? Even now, I know that they are lying in wait somewhere in the gloom, secretly observing. If they don't deserve the goddess, then whom do they serve? If they don't serve the goddess, then whom do they serve? Who could be greater than her? Though we call them shadow people, we really don't know much about them. If succubi are the eyes of the goddess, then whose eyes are these monsters? Hey, you okay? Okay. That blanket looked like it was made of skin. Moving along. The gates of hell. Mm, wonderful. Did you hear that? Oh, look at that. As I stare into the abyss, so does it stare into me. I made it around the door. Wait, hold on. No, I think I made it back to the beginning. Huh. Fuck those skulls. Well, that looks pleasant. Oh, I'm, I'm okay, so I am supposed to go this way. What? Okay. I can't go through the door. Alright, fuck it. I'm taking my torch and I'm going. What was that? What's up, baby? While holding a torch, you can set things on fire, press... Okay. It's also dangerous to, le to lesser creatures. Big demons will be attracted by a torch, so remo remain cautious while using it. I'm on fire! That wasn't very fair.
That looks pleasant. Oh, this looked this looks wonderful. What are those? Is this alien? Am I in an alien movie? What the fuck is that? Uh, it's so gross. Hi, person. You're naked. That's a butt. It will never end. Our blood will fill the eternally thirsty chalice. I dream of offering myself to her. Fill her mouth with my blood. To be near her. At least for a while. Alright. Well, I'm, you do that. I'm just gonna keep focusing on my goal. And oh, that person is climbing down the walls. I heard, uh, hey, 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 I heard you pitter-patter. Hold on, guys, gotta adjust the gain on my mic again. There we go. I heard him pitter-pattering. I missed. I fucked up. And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Thanks, Soul Mirror. Oh, and it reset. It was like... Full, I don't know, because that's still gone. But I need my torch. Don't mind me just crawling through the crawl spaces of hail. Okay, so I was supposed to sprint jump if I wanted to cross that gap. Yeah, because you can get a fair bit of distance off a sprint jump. I'm watching for you, pitter-patterer. There's the shadow person again. Is the ceiling going to shit out its baby again? Oh! It's up there! Nailed it. This, like, insists that I go... 
do I not want to explore hell? Is that what's going on here? Is that what it's trying to say? Like, you don't belong here. Yep, that is blood. Mm. Mm mm. Good old fashioned Kool Aid. Fruit punch. <laughs> What's your story, crybaby? I'm dying of thirst. I haven't drunk anything for centuries. Please help me. I can't take it any longer. Give me my blood. Huh. I'm dying. Of okay. Blood. I haven't drunk anything for centuries. Please help me. I can't take it any longer. All right, it's not big on differing dialogues here, which fine. I can't jump that. But maybe if I could possess one of those hand creatures. Okay. Alrighty then. Just gotta... Well, <clears throat> there's some people that have been bifurcated. It'll be fine. Oh, for a little... I don't like it. Nope. You know what? We're not gonna go for a dippy dip in the Kool-Aid. We're gonna go this way. Change my mind. <laughs> oh, hey, an artifact. Collected statuettes and pictures give you points that unlock additional content in the main menu gallery. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Nailed it. Why? Okay. Whew. We don't know where it came from, nor how to judge its next move. It was a miracle that we were able to catch one. It looks like a spider, yet it isn't one. It normally moves silently like the shadows when it, in which it hides. There is no way to escape it if it's heard you in the darkness. Even though it has no eyes or hearing, it sees and hears better than any other demon. The hair growing on its twisted body reacts to the faintest sound and the vibrations stimulate its muscles. When you see it, don't breathe and pray that it isn't too late. What are we talking about? Are we talking about Hans Gruber back there? The man of many hands? Alright, we're going in the Kool-Aid.
I lost my torch. This is that another torch? Can I get that? Is that a torch? Can I, I need a torch? Is this a torch? It's not a torch. Damn it. Oh. Well, uh, looks like I need to hit the old dusty trail. All right, fuck it. I'm gunning for it. Missed. Don't worry. You'll soon forget about it. Next time, try a little harder. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Do 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 Let's run up here real quick, grab the torch. When we get up here to the torch, I'm gonna have to close it out for the night. Like I said, I've been trying to do these videos while I'm also working a full time job. <laughs> Sorry, it's become to the point where it's not a full time job, it's a all the time job. Alright. So, this has been Agony. Thumbs up. Uh, I like the game, I really do. It's fucking creepy as fuck. And, uh, I hope that you guys have been enjoying it. We'll see just how far this rabbit hole goes. And, uh... Ooh, hey, I have five knowledge now. I'm getting smarter. At any rate... This has been Apoc Lord, and I'm signing out. Have a good one, guys. Let me know how you feel down in the comments below.